Hi guys, if you've been lucky enough to stumble across this lovely Plumber Parts at Code UK video all about how to fit the pipework under your kitchen sink, then great, we're gonna get down to the video any minute now. First things first, I'm gonna put my phone on silent. Secondly, do yourselves a favour and subscribe to our videos. You can do that by clicking on the link that's appearing right now. Uh, remember also to make sure that your notifications are switched on, then when we upload a new video, you'll get one little notification just telling you that it's happened. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this video, guys, and remember, hold tight. Plumberparts.co.uk, home of Find Your Plumber. Right then, girls, so here is the beast we have in question. We've got a little flunky sink here. We're gonna be putting a hot and cold and also a feed to a fridge that's just out of shot up into the back of this unit here, and we're gonna show you how to, I mean, this is, you know, these jobs aren't gonna be you know, completely relevant to everything you're doing because every job's completely different, but hopefully it's gonna give you a bit of an idea about how to do this sort of job neatly and also to make it so once you've gone, uh, especially as a plumber, the homeowner can turn all their stuff off or if you are a homeowner and you're trying to figure out how to do this self, the importance of adding valves. That's what we're gonna do. All right, let's get going. So a quick look around this job. Down here we have got this horrible load of pipe work here. We've also got the cold coming in here on a lovely little bit of a pipe there, very nice. What we're gonna do is turn off the water supply. We're gonna get these pipes that actually fed up into the back of here. And then we've got a dishwasher and a washing machine either side, just like so. But really, it doesn't really matter which way they are around because they have the same complete facilities when it comes to feeding. So number one on my particular job sheet is to find a piece of paper and actually sketch out on here what I'm going to do. Now it's almost like I'm gonna have a pipe going up there to there, there to there and there to there, just draw it out. And then what you're gonna be able to do is know exactly what fittings you need. Because the worktop isn't in here yet, the customer temporarily wants us just to put a tap on here like so. So for demonstration purposes, it's gonna give you a pretty good idea about how to pipe the tap up as well. I actually love doing this sort of job because it's designing from scratch. Thing of beauty is a joy forever. So I'm just gonna have a little scribble down now and see exactly what we want. We are just under here like that. And as you can see, we've got our waste coming in. We've got the cold water out to the fridge, cold water main to the system, the hot and the cold water main in. Now what I usually do is actually, we'll go up here and as you can see, I've just drilled these holes here. I've just marked out these holes where I want to drill them. So what I'm going to do now, right away, is guess what? Drill those holes first. <laughs> Right, so there we go, we've got our holes drilled in, and as you can see from down here, we've got our cold water main coming in, we've got our hot water coming in, our cold water off the system, and then also the cold water that goes to the fridge as well. So what I'm gonna do is, I know that my hot is basically just gonna come up in this corner and just sit out of the way. Um, what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of pipe length to that, so when they put the actual worktops on, when this job's finished, we've got enough slack to take that up and they just have to remove the tap and then put it back on again. And we'll do the same with the cold as well in a minute. So what we're gonna do is, because this is gonna be where our hot comes up, just get my spirit level and then I'm just gonna draw a line up there. I'm gonna do the same here with the cold. Depending how good my hole drilling is, it should be all roughly the same sort of distance. Just run that along there and then we're just gonna pop clip, 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 clip there. Right, and because I know roughly where my hot is, what we're gonna do is I know that I can measure up from just under here, so I can just go on here, add my, you know, 80 mil or whatever, I know I'm gonna be pretty safe. I'm gonna bring this up right high, and actually instead, I'm just gonna run my, I'm just gonna put basically a bend on here like so, and then over to where our hot is. I'm really pleased actually that we've got this job to film. It's really, really handy because uh, you can get a really good idea, a really good view of everything that's going in. Um, so, I mean, that's going to give us loads of slack then on that hot. I mean, actually, there's going to be, we're going to pop a little valve on here. And also, uh, just have a box of clips sitting next to you the whole time you do this. And also, your little straight as well, your little straight edge. Because you want to make this look gorgeous. Right, so now, we really need to put our cold main coming up here with our cold main stop clock as well on there. Squeak. So here now, when they squeak, they leak. That's, uh, that's something I can tell you. <laughs> uh, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put a bend on this actually quickly as well, because we're gonna sweep over. We've got basically three valves coming off all together. One for, the, one for the fridge, one for the dishwasher, and one for the washing machine. So now this is up to you to go, right, how are we gonna make this 
beautiful. Number one, the, the things that concern me the most when I'm installing this sort of system is this. Everything should be at the back, out of the way. So if anyone wants to use this as a cupboard, they have the space to be able to do it. But also, everything needs to be easily undoable. So if you need to come back or tighten something up, then that's great. And also, everything needs to be easily accessible for people to turn stuff off. You don't want someone with water going everywhere going absolutely mental because they can't turn it off. They're the things that I worry about. So this, for this particular part, you need a few T's, a few elbows, and your brain. Think up to yourself, am I going to be the one living here? Am I going to be the one and coming down here at 2 in the morning needed to turn something off real quick? If you are, then do it like this because it's the best way. Well, where was I? <laughs> so. Right, so the reason I'm putting in a little coal valve on here as well, on the, to the system out, is because if there's a problem with the cold system somewhere else in the house, they can isolate it just here and still have water uh, up to the sink so they can still use like the washing machine and stuff like that. They're not completely, you know, stuck. That's all it is. Thing as well, if you get the opportunity, obviously it's a decent idea just to nip up any anything you've got to nip up now. Right, and now comes the bit that is difficult because as you probably can see, we've got a little bit of an overlap here. We're gonna have to bring our cold up and it's gonna have to come over the top of that hot and do that. It's a really, really simple thing to get over if you know how and what you're doing. So what we're gonna do is we are going to bend three bends exactly the same. So little 45 probably, nothing crazy. Sorry, I tell a lie, we're going to bend two bends of that size. Okay, this isn't the crazy way that you all have to do it every time. Uh, we'll push bring it to there actually. You've got exactly the same thing to do here. Well, just another little one. And you've guessed it already. You've probably guessed it. We're just gonna join the top of that up, just like so. One, two, right. Actually, what I could do there is I can make that one a T and that can be our spigot. Right, like I said, this is kind of temporary what we're doing here at the moment. So, uh, all we need to do really, is, <laughs> this is so simple. Uh, we're gonna be popping a hole up through here for the waste. Uh, and as you can see, we've got our two wastes ready for the dishwasher and the washing machine as well. So they're ready to go, nice and easy. Swing that around there. Uh, I know where the waste center is, because I've marked it up on here. So all I need to do is get my drill, drill a biggish hole around there, and then we can get our waste installed. All right, 45s are the way to go, if you can. Uh, if you can't, then 90s are perfectly fine. Uh, but I prefer 45s if you can, because you do get a little bit of a better flow, but... So boom, there we go, all done. Uh, I mean, obviously this lot's gonna be taken out pretty soon when they put this new worktop on. I've mentioned that a few times already. Uh, but I mean, hopefully this should all be all right. I hope you like the way that we've kept everything as far back as we possibly can. Uh, we've obviously got our washing machine and dishwasher connectors all there as well, ready to go in. Uh, I'm gonna wait for the chippy to come along and just cut their holes for that uh, because we don't actually know quite straight away what they're gonna be doing. So it's probably best just to leave them to do that. And also, time's getting on. It's nearly five o'clock. I need to go home. <laughs> I'm only joking, don't worry. I would just whack these in. I'm just gonna wait for them to come along and we'll do it there. Anyway, I know this video hasn't been like 100% me telling you exactly how to do something the whole time, uh, but I hope that it's given you a better idea about, you know, taking the time to design some of this stuff and make it so it looks nice when it goes at the back so that you can still use the cupboard, but also making sure that all the valves are easy to get at. As you can see, we can get to all those valves really easily there. Any problems, that's great. So if you just wanna know, we've got the cold coming up here. Obviously then our cold feed's off out, down to the fridge, cold feed off to the house. So now if they've got a problem with a leak somewhere in the house, bang, they can turn that off and they can still use the sink without having to worry about the rest of the house. I mean, basically, it doesn't get much better than that. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please do subscribe to us on YouTube. Please follow us on Twitter and Facebook. 
plumbing disasters, we do them all the time. Uh, I've left a few links to that in this video as well. If you want any more help, please comment in the comment section below and we'll try and help you out there. Or send us a message on Facebook or Twitter. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I've got loads of clearing up to do now and I'll see you later. Hold tight! Plumberparts.co.uk, home of Find Your Plumber.